Hey everybody, thanks for checking out A Drink With Crazy. Today we're going to talk about why um, a lot of people comparing Ghost of Tsushima versus Last of Us 2 or even just bringing the two games up. Uh, it just doesn't this, work. It just doesn't work. They're two totally different games. Um, I understand that a lot of people were disappointed in The Last of Us 2. We uh, were as included. well, us <laughs> yeah. included. Uh, and a lot of us are excited about Ghost of Tsushima, us included. I've been playing it like all week. I know. I haven't <laughs> gotten the chance to play as much as I'd like because he's been hogging it. Anyway. Right. But um, but it's just it's wrong to compare the two, and we're going to go in uh, to a few of those reasons and some of the... Just, um, I, 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 yeah. Nope. Just tune in, watch, subscribe, like, comment, all that stuff. Ring that notification bell and let's get into the conversation. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, make sure you ring that notification bell, and make sure to share this with everyone you know to help us beat that massive YouTube algorithm. All right, um, you actually describe it the best, and so I want you to take us from the oh, top okay. here. Yeah, so sure. um, why, why is the comparison just wrong? I, I just think that mechanically they are just such different games in what they are not only are, but what they're attempting to be. Obviously, uh, The Last of Us Part Two is a very narrative-heavy game. It's trying to be very much, you know, heavy cut like, scene, like a heavy character along story almost. Yeah, yeah, you know how like uh, most Naughty Dog games are. They're yeah. you know these scripted, heavily narrative, very character focused sort of things where you're just along to. They're, they're like interactive movies in a lot of ways. That was actually a term used for them back in the day. They've yeah. there's enough gameplay in them. No, they're not. That'd be more like an Until Dawn. But yeah. um, they're trying to, very much to be more movie-esque with it whereas ghost of tsushima is open world it's an open world um and it's a go where you Action, want do what you want ha almost hack and slash not quite hack and not slash. hack and slash because it's too precise but also melee based combat as opposed to range based combat or stealth based combat. well with a little bit of narrative sprinkled in yeah and um the narrative in it is kind of a undercurrent where it's obviously the mongols have invaded fight the mongols off yeah. and you have to recruit people and you get character stories absolutely yes but but in terms of this big journey where you're watching a bunch of cutscenes and characters you know, supposedly changing and evolving and growing, um, as you would in a film, Ghost of Tsushima is a lot more interspersed with that, where you'll have big character moments, but they're character moments. It doesn't really move forward like no, a movie does. No, and you do does see some character... Because of the freeform. You know, no, no, no. And it doesn't move forward like a movie does. Um, it does... It feels like... Uh, 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 from having played like many hours of it now, I'm already, I'm on Act Two right now, uh, going through it. So my playthrough I'm a, and my my score has gone up, and I, I think I'm about stabilized. Yeah, I'm, I'm waffling with higher or lower right now because I think I started out about an eight. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, with it. Yeah, um, I've been a firm eighty five with it for a while. But, now. Maybe that'll go up as I get but, a chance but anyway, to play but it. Yeah, more, but yeah, but, <laughs> but but what it what it is doing is it is it is a. Uh, it is stitching together with the cutscenes all of the gameplay that you just played from the last cutscene to this one, and it stitches it all together very well. Mm -hmm. And then it it makes you feel like this open world romp that you're going on is a part of the story, but it's well, not. Everything a is so segmented into its own kind of like almost vignette, right? Mm -hmm. Is that each story, while connecting to the main thread of the Mongol invasion, mm -hmm. is still fairly self-contained. And 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 that well, um, kind of. Well, obviously they're going to interplay on each other, but uh, well, no, and the, well, and maybe that's where I'm just getting hung up on. But anyway, but then going back to the Last of Us Two is where you have this game that well, let's is put it this way in the Last that, of Us Two you cannot go off the beaten path, no, and go talk to random citizen B, and do something completely unrelated. I mean, obviously, very very early on when Ellie and Dina are riding around Seattle. You get a little bit of that, but um, after that segment, that never really comes back, and so everything is narrative focused. The gameplay is narrative focused. The cutscenes, obviously, and but it, and it really and and that's the problem that I have is a lot of people are like it's just a better game, and Sony did such a and like The Last of Us Two sucked, and Ghost of Tsushima is good. And I'm like, well, I'm like, why are you even talking? Because when we talked about. Uh, Ghost of Tsushima and our first impressions. I know that we brought up The Last of Us 2, but we talked about how the visuals were... The yeah, it was Ghost mostly a visual comparison because a, they are visual, the both you know, two, the, the, well, the two latest we also brought up PS4 RDR 2. We also brought up a yeah. couple of things that have done visuals very well, and we only brought up like... Yeah, Ghost of Tsushima, great visuals, but we have seen better. Now, I will say this. I don't know if I've seen better color and... I, just I, I, I don't pop, know. 
because well, you've seen all the screenshots I've been taking. I, I don't know. There there's some damn good visuals out there. Um, uh, well, no, no, no. I'm just saying there's just like that one where I'm playing the I, flute I, with all the leaves. In oh, the I know. I've like, seen I've seen similar shots and uh, some really good shots from things like RDR and uh, Breath but, of the Wild and okay. things like that. Uh, I, actually, Breath of the Wild. That that's got just a but, really good like pastel. Yeah. Color. But um yeah. no, that, and so but but, anyway, but it's definitely but, up there. It's but, definitely and up no, there. And, and I'm not saying, and I'm not. But saying, in terms of raw technicality, obviously you can say texture quality, uh, ambient occlusion, and anisotropic filtering, um, level of detail, draw distance, things like that. Um, no, and you can you can com- skyboxes things. You can, and compare- I will say this: um, Last of Us Two, in terms of a realism, the the game is trying to look photorealistic, right, as much as it can. And um, whereas Ghost of Tsushima looks like oh, it's kind of photorealis- photorealistic adjacent and the fact that it's almost a stylized photorealism where they're obviously very high detail, things look realistic, but there's this color and this vibrance to it that makes it look a little bit painting-esque. Yeah, and, yeah. Um, and, and that's the one thing is that I, I – but like I said, for, for people to, to, to try to compare the two games – Well, mechanically, they're, they're Because one's day. a narrative-driven game, and the other one is – A mechanic-driven game. Is a mechanic-driven game. And also the mechanics and, themselves are – they're night and day from each other because whereas both have stealth elements, both are third person, and both have a form of ranged combat, what is the main gameplay loop, right? In The Last of Us Part Two, it is sneaking, stabbing, and then shooting. Right. Mm -hmm. Whereas in Ghost of Tsushima, it can be horseback riding. It can be platforming. It can be sword play. It can be bow play. It can be stealth. There's a lot more free form to it. And um, like like a really good Assassin's Creed game would do. Yeah. And, um, you know, it kind of reminds me just with how quick you can move from movement to movement. It kind of reminds me of like, like like early Assassin's Creed, but with almost like the speed of kind of like the precision of Assassin's Creed, but with like the speed of God of War, yeah, indeed, almost. And, and it's and it's I'd just say this I'd really say that cool the Assassin's Creed comparison is a lot more apt than well, um, the Last of Us Two comparison. And obviously, I understand where people are coming from. I absolutely do. They're both Sony well, exclusive well, they, games, and people are really happy with one, and a lot of people are really not happy with the well, other. And maybe they're just drawing the comparison because the two games came out so close together. It was like a month apart, little, just about maybe three weeks. Because keep in mind, uh, the yeah, last, yeah, 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 yeah. Last yeah, of Us we'll, Two, we'll I think, released on the nineteenth of June, and this one came out, I believe, on the twentieth. No, so, not the twentieth. Yeah, the, no, because uh, we're at the twenty fourth now. So even no, so they're almost a month apart. Yeah, yeah, yeah just so, uh, just about. Just so about. and maybe that's why people are trying to compare the but two. You've had the thing like, for about a week, so I'd say the seventeenth. I think it was the seventeenth of July. Yeah, so, j- so roughly, yeah, just yeah, about a month. Yeah, but yeah, so yeah. and that's the one thing is I, I I just I think a lot of people maybe that's the comparison. I also know that a lot of YouTubers are very very mad that Naughty Dog tried to strike their channels into yeah, oblivion. Yeah, lest we forget about that one. They yeah, they did that thing mm-hmm. when the leaks came out and people even just discussing it yeah. were getting struck. They didn't show footage, but they'd still get struck. Yeah, that, and and, that and was, so there's just a lot of ill will there, and so I think. Uh, there's a certain um, shot in Florida that they want this game to be better just to prove a point. And no, and I and I think there's a lot of that because honestly, if we are going to make a comparison, I think comparing, you know, like if we're going to do a hey, let's compare these two games that are somewhat similar, which one does it better? Like I would almost say like, all right, let's compare Ghost of Tsushima to Assassin's Creed Valhalla when it comes out. Uh, you don't even have to do that. Let's compare Ghost of Tsushima to Assassin's Creed Odyssey, which is the latest one. Well, no, out. I'm just saying because they're, they're both going to come out this year. Well, okay, yeah, fair yeah, enough. So fair of enough. 2020, which one's the better open world? Is it Ghost of Tsushima? Is it Assassin's Creed Valhalla? And let's look at bucks, it. 20 we, bucks says it'll be Ghost of Tsushima just because on, Ubisoft on the mechanical has gotten side, lazy. On, on the mechanical side, I think so. On the visual side, I think Keep in Valhalla. mind, Assassin's Creed has also changed a lot since you oh, played no, no, it. Oh, no, 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 I know, I know. But I think on the mechanical side, Ghost of Tsushima will probably take it from what I know. I think on the visual side, just from what I've we seen. We will be reviewing Valhalla, or at least the first impressions. Yeah, Big open um, worlds like this, they tend to be first impressions because... We've done the marathon thing, and it's it's brutal. Uh, with jobs um, and stuff like that. Now, if this turns into a full-time thing, which that's... <laughs> okay. But no. But at but that point, I just, yeah, sure. Like I said, I just, change, I just don't... I, I think that there's a lot of ill will, and I don't think people are yeah. honestly comparing the two games because the fact... And even, dude, my score has gone up since we've since we've done well, the last Well, no, it's, it's a very good game, and uh, the thing runs very stably on the PS4. Um, very loudly. <laughs> well, that's just PS4 the PS4. turbine. We actually have an external fan for the PlayStation 4 to make sure that we didn't blow the damn thing up. Yeah. Um, but no, I, I heard rumors about the uh, the Last of Us Part Two um, making PS4 Pros fans run so loud that people had to uh, crank up the TV volume. And so I was a little nervous that my poor little launch edition <laughs> wasn't going to hold up to it. <laughs> Boom, there goes the fan. 
Uh-oh. <laughs> just grab a room fan and just put it on there. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> uh, no, the thing's probably dead at that uh, point. Well, but, uh, yeah. well, yeah, you know, if it shoots out of the case, it's probably a good... Um, but uh, but no, and that was the thing is I, I just, I've seen so much of this and I just got tired of it because it feels like there's a lot of politics involved here and that really well, there does is, just and piss it's, me it's, off and that really does it's, just... It's, uh, it, it's the debate, right? It's the idea that, you know, this exclusive is better than that exclusive because I'm really pissed at the first one, right? And I think that that's what it is. I really do because then don't get me wrong, like after we had gone through our marathon session of, uh, sorry, we have the children's and the doggos and everybody coming in here, so... Uh, Sorry, guys, we got to, like, no, go away. Uh, one of these days we'll have a sound room. It'll be awesome. But, um, no, that day. but I, I think that uh, <laughs> one, of the, one of the biggest things that it just feels like is people are just feel so slighted by the, the Last of Us 2 that they want to just say Ghost of Tsushima better just so they can dog on the Last of Us 2. And which that I just does don't feel like a lot of it, yeah. No, that it definitely feels like a feel lot. It feel right, and and like I said, they're they're two totally different games. They're two totally different styles of play. They're two totally different worlds, and I and 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 they're trying to do two totally different things. And I and and I just I just don't get it. I just it bothers me because it just feels like if you're going to compare The Last of Us two to something, I mean, what's another stealth, you know? Oh, in terms of that narrative structure. Um, I mean, really, nobody else does it like Naughty Dog. No, Naughty Dog games are pretty unique in their in their regard. Um, the only thing I could think of that would be similar in tone would maybe be the Metro games. Uh, at least the first one, because it's very linear, very scripted. Right. Um, obviously, uh, 2 and then later yeah. Exodus. Um, so Last Light and then Exodus um, open up a lot more. Um but the first one, 2033, would be ish. Um, in terms of that third person, the only other game that I could think of that would maybe be that Naughty Dog-esque would be the um, Tomb Raider reboots. Oh, I can see that. Yeah. And so in, the, in that regard, you could probably s compare Naughty Dog to a Tomb Raider game. So, yeah, actually, that'd probably be the most apt you know, one. Both try to be pseudo-open world, tro both try to be very narrative-focused. Uh, would be uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider and The Last of Us Part Two. That'd be the only other yeah, and non think, Naughty Dog but, game. And like I said, I, I to compare it to, but but to sit truly. there and just inject this politics and inject how some and I don't get me wrong. I know a lot of YouTubers really pissed off at Naughty Dog because Naughty Dog. Oh, and I get sketchy it. Sketchy shit. I, I like, get don't it. Get me wrong. I absolutely like, that was get it. Bullshit. What they did to those YouTubers and like and I and I feel such sympathies because some of these guys have built their businesses on this stuff and and it oh was, yeah and and, and the, it, it's threatened to get taken away like yeah because you dare to talk about something yeah exactly yeah, and so no yeah. so I totally get why. Why? Oh, but and 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 but like I said, it's all this, you know. Oh, Ghost of Tsushima is is destroying uh, uh, Last of Us Two, and I'm like, what? Why does that matter? No, the point is, and is I that, think because because it's justification. I think it's, it's confirmation bias. It's confirmation bias. It's, it's definitely it's, confirmation it's, bias, and it's definitely a justification, right? Because if you're really pissed off at the Last of Us Two. And you want to see that like game? A, I was for like a week and a half, two weeks. And you want to see that game just disappear off the face of the earth? And then another exclusive comes out, and you don't have to worry about the console war at that point because they're oh, both exclusive. Sorry, Foxy was trying to take my headphones off. Ah, well, you got to watch out for that. You didn't manage your power correctly. Um, but anyway, so and then another exclusive comes out. Don't have to worry about the console <laughs> war because it's the same platform. Sorry, that took me a second. And um, I'm just going to ignore you. And. Um, so you can sit there and you can say this one. I'm not pissed at Sony. I'm not, you know, saying I'm not a PS4 fanboy, but this one is so much better than that one. And I'm going to keep saying this because I really want this one to fail. And um, in this case, being The Last of Us Part Two, they really want it to fail because they feel slighted. And I can understand why between the uh, the takedowns on the YouTube stuff, between the false advertising, between yeah. the false promises, the lies in the interviews. Just uh, the sheer smugness the of people like uh, marketing. Yeah, oh the, just the God. sheer smugness of uh, the people involved, like Druckmann. Um, like, I get, and like and the, I, can, I can understand a good deal of ill will towards that game. Uh, my issue is that I I just don't have the heart. Like you know, that, that that game, I just rather forget exists. It's like Alien Three to me. Yeah, I, I'm I'm kind of there. I'm already kind of forgetting about it. It's it's not this this thing for me anymore. We it's not Mass it. Effect Three to me. It's it, it's not worth it. No, honestly, it would be, for me, it would be like if they came out with a KOTOR 3, because that's about the only thing that 
would Disney, get you that hyped. That would get me that hyped. If they said KOTOR 3 and it looked epic. And then failed. And then they lied to me, did narrative horrible choices, injected it with all these crap politics. Uh, it, did yeah, you I might. Re- did you realize uh, Revan was actually a you know, transgendered woman that was actually secretly a Wookiee? Right. <laughs> what? <laughs> Did no, and that well, and because it, it would, or what is no, what is the uh, uh, the cards against humanity, the uh, the uh, pansexual octopus, Roman yeah, that cosmos. one, yes, that one, yeah, yeah, so um, cards against humanity for everybody, uh, but no, and that's the thing that I, I just, I, I think there are games that absolutely could do it to me, but I just don't understand this this need. It's like people need, they're like, this game is bad, and well, I as feel, we've discussed, and here's it's, the problem, it's this every, every new release that we're gonna get. Is going to be twenty twenty is going to be compared. It's See, going to it be. did better than Last of Us two. Did it better than Last of Us two? And it's like, guys, they're different they're, games. They're different games. Stop talking. Why do I feel I, like when Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven comes out, they're like, this is why it's a great game. This is why Last of Us two sucks. And it's like, I was actually going to do that, but okay. <laughs> like, no, I, I I kid mostly. Uh, <laughs> but uh, no, Cyberpunk is shaping up to be uh, one of the landmark titles of the year. And I guarantee you there will be Last of Us 2 comparisons. I guarantee you. And there shouldn't be because they're two totally separate games. Well, Cyberpunk is and trying to be just, like and, a full-on and, and the sim thing. in a lot of ways. Dude, have you seen some of the stuff? Oh, on? yeah. We're going to have to because we're, we're actually going to do an episode on uh, CD Projekt Red. Yes, we will. And just how they are as a game dev and just all the stuff they're doing for gamers. But anyway, that's a whole different topic. But Toss a coin no, to your like, Witcher. Right. Toss a coin to your Witcher. Rural Valley of Plenty. He did such a good job. Anyway. He did. Um, I've actually been really working on that yeah. to try to expand my range. Oh, yeah. Um, but no, anyway. But he did such a good job. Uh, it's, um, but no, CD Projekt Red, fantastic. And. You just know that Cyberpunk will be compared, Assassin's Creed will be compared. I, hell, Call of Duty might get compared. Every I don't game know. that comes out in 2020 after The Last of Us 2 is going to be compared because people just, they're, they're just, there's, they, they, I'm sorry, they got a hate boner for it. They do. They have a hate boner for it, like really, really bad. And I'm not going to lie, I did for about 48 hours. I after we finished, yeah, I did for about a week because we had to go do some video after that. <laughs> we did, we had to do some videos on it after that, and so I did for about a week while I was editing the videos, and then after that, I was just kind of like, eh, and people are still talking about it. I'm like, man, I just I don't even want to hear about it anymore. It just, it's it's done. It's over with. It failed. We, it failed as a narrative. Move on. Yeah, it failed as a narrative. Uh, mechanically competent. Sound sound was good. I've heard better. Actually, the, actually one of the I, I, it's it's you've obviously heard one better than me. Dead Space Tilts still takes the sound. I mean, and that's yeah. the thing that if we're going to compare, you know, with the best being the best, if we're going to remember the Resident Evil remake, yeah. if we're going to yeah. compare the best of the best in video games, I would say that Ghost of Tsushima fails in comparison in sound design, where Dead Space just is. Which for a twelve-year-old game is kind of impressive. De- but that's um, what I'm saying. And then if we're going to say visually. You know, Ghost of Tsushima just it does fail next to The Last of Us Two. Um, I wouldn't Carrick, say it fails; it just doesn't quite meet up. Because it's you know not me, a failure. I'm black and white. No, it's not yeah, a failure. I know, I'm, I, I'm not. black I'm and shades white. Of gray. But that's what I'm but, saying. Um, you know, you know, it's a you know one one takes the cake. One because if it's a this one wins, this one loses. Like points in these categories. Like you could probably do a points in these categories thing. But again, I don't understand why you would even do that. It would be it would almost be like saying we're going to compare two movies that drew up a lot of controversy and a lot of talk on the internet. Let's compare Avengers Endgame to The Little Mermaid. What? What? Yeah. <laughs> like what, what okay, I've actually Technically seen, they're both Disney properties, I've I mean. Actually, <laughs> I've actually seen some stuff that I was like, ah uh, there's this guy that I watch uh, on YouTube uh, uh, occasionally. He wanted to compare. Um, he wanted to uh, compare uh, the Joker to uh, to uh, um, Logan. Oh, I remember you talking about and this. I was, yeah. And that was a terrible comparison because those are two totally different styles of movies. Yeah, one's very psychological and. Joker, Joker's kind of in a league of its well, own. Well, no, and, I mean one one's a and western. Lo- Logan's a western. Yeah, Logan's just a western. Yeah, it's that you know, it's the last ride of the best gunslinger. It, you it know, is. It's that's a, exactly what it is. And that's what you know. But and that's what I'm saying is obviously just, with mutants as opposed to gunslingers, but still. Well, yeah. yeah, but you know, and it's just it's just one of those things that I don't understand. I, I think people just have such a hate boner for 
The Last of Us 2. And at this point, don't get me wrong, guys, I didn't like the game either. My score no, has I... gone up a little bit because there's a little bit of distance. And I Yeah, am, without I, I, without that, without that, just I wanted it to be done fatigue. and over with. Yeah, that fatigue. Don't get me wrong. The narrative is still terrible. The narrative I can't give I I cannot give anything to but the, the narrative. Game, the game itself is competent. The game itself is competent. I still think the game for me is like a four, maybe if I I think I scored it l- lower than that. Oh, we both gave it a three. Yeah. Um a three out of twelve at that. So that would have been like If a I was two, gonna one, rate one. it on a scale out of ten, five or six. I think for point. me, just because the narrative was really important for me, I mean, it's gone up, but I'm still at like a four, maybe a five. So you're uh, about a point lower yeah, than Yeah, I'm I about a point lower you're, than You're you. a four to five, I'm a five to six. Well, I also didn't experience the mechanics the way that you did. I uh, watched that's fair. Them, that's so. absolutely fair. Um, um, but then for like. But Ghost, whereas Ghost of Tsushima, I'd rate it for what it tries to do. And I cannot stress this point enough. If for what it tries to do, Ghost of Tsushima. No, 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 no. Is for what not what it tries to do for what it is doing because remember okay well l- uh, okay well what it tries to do and what it achieves in doing that's the whole point of a review right mm-hmm. it tried to do this did it achieve it and in the case of Ghost of Tsushima eighty five maybe ninety percent of the time yeah and so that right there I mean if we were going to compare the two games we would say yeah we liked one we didn't like the other but to sit there and say this one's crushing the other one's sales and and people don't like this one and they're defending this one and I'm like guys that's just it's, it's, it's all that's just a bunch of internet fucking like around bullshit it, it is. It's and it's like you know what, dude? It's internet water cooler bullshit. That's exactly what it is, and, and it's just fucking and stupid, honestly, stupid, stupid. They're stupid. they're not games that are easily compared outside of the fact that they're both platform exclusives. And enjoy what you enjoy. If, you, if you're in love with The Last are, of Us Two, God bless you, because I different. couldn't do it. Yeah, art styles are different. Gameplay yeah. is different. The narratives aren't even remotely close to the same. Just the worlds that they're in are different. One's very linear, or well, semi well, no, pretty linear. One's linear because... It's still linear. It's still sequential. Yeah, no, one's sequential. One's not. One, like, it's just, I don't know. But anyway, just, anyway, just to, just to kind of tie things up, if you love The Last of Us 2, God bless you, because I couldn't. Um, but stop comparing. And if you hate the, hated The Last of Us 2, you know, I understand. I, trust me, I'm right there with you. I did not care for it. And I much prefer Ghost of Tsushima, but they are not easily compared. They are trying to be very different games. And a better comparison would be to compare Tomb Raider to The Last of Us and Ghost of Tsushima to Assassin's Creed. Those are more apt. Yeah, so you want to compare them, go for it, but stop trying... Don't... don't Stop stop trying trying to to stir up internet bullshit. And stop trying to make one win. One's already won. One is much more better, uh, well-received, and that is Ghost of Tsushima. It's already won. Yeah. You don't... We've proven our point. And if some of the stories I've seen about the return copies and the sales drops are to be believed, people know about The Last of Us 2. We don't have to worry about it anymore. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching this that video. Walker we got a little, we got a little down. uh, downplayed there at the end, but thank you guys so much for yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, watching. I know. This well, is, this is a much more measured thing yeah, than, it it, than our normal yeah. hyperbolic animated. <laughs> yeah. blah, 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 blah. Uh, though, to be fair, that's also mostly him than me. So. I, I'm always kind of like this. It's just the fact that he's not sitting there. You know, well, he, yeah, he's like this after poking him with a stick. Matt, get up. Matt, get up. Matt, get up. Ah. And then about 20 seconds after that noise, we record a video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I drink it crazy. Don't forget to go down below, hit true. that subscribe button, ring that notification it's bell, like true. this video for us, and comment down below um, what game that you think would be it's more a aptly. Stick. He gives me beer. It's different. It's a liquid stick. What would be more aptly compared to The Last of Us 2? Let us know what you think what The Last of Us 2 should be compared to and what you think Ghost of Tsushima should, never should be been compared to. With a stick. And uh, we will see you all next I time understand. right here in Cheers. Why? Thank you for watching A Drink with Crazy. If you liked the conversation, make sure to click here to see more. <laughs>